Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna take you on a tour of a one slide bunk model. This is the 2024 MPG 2500BH. This thing is absolutely incredible. If you're looking for the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff will be found down in the description of this video along with my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, I would love to be the guy that helps facilitate that. Hit that like and subscribe button, help me reach my goal of 40,000 subscribers, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2024 MPG 2500BH, and I think that you guys will really like the decor in this. Right when you walk in, it looks pretty sharp, but the first thing that I notice is that barrel roof so what i mean by that is it basically kind of kind of bows over on itself and the reason why i like it i'm six feet tall you have an interior head height of six eight so right off the bat this is going to be very suitable for someone that's a little bit taller or for someone that wants a more kind of open feel some of these travel trailers can get just a little bit clunky you know a little bit uh, stuffy on the inside but the MPG does a very good job of alleviating that with the ceiling height. You know, also the slides are pretty tall as well. Usually they're like around five, six, the bottom of my ear. This one goes just over the top of my ear. I'm going to guess probably somewhere around five, nine. So that also allows for big old windows. I have the blinds partway drawn, but you're going to get tinted windows on every window here. They all open up for a nice cross breeze. You're also going to see you have an oversized U-shaped dinette, so that creates an extra sleeping space if you need it. All you do is simply take out these legs right here and drop this table down to sit on those little, uh, I, I call them plastic nubs. I don't know what the actual technical RV term is, but you know, I'm, uh, they hired me because I'm friendly. But so I'm gonna say drop it down on the plastic nubs and you are good to go with some extra sleeping of one to two, depending on their size. You also get some plugins right there, two USBs, to plug in your device. Additionally, on this slide, you're gonna see you have your ever chill refrigerator. If you guys have seen my videos before, you know how I enjoy that 12 volt refrigerator because I just think you get more versatility out of it. So this will run off of your battery, you know, your truck going down the road. Obviously, uh, you know, shore power, but also, you know, solar, if you guys have solar on your camper, all of those things can run this 12 volt refrigerator. But what really makes it special is well, aside from that, I mean, that makes it special. What really makes it special, if the sun is beating down on this side, it won't heat up the interior of the refrigerator. It's just like the one inside your home. It just happens to run off a little bit of a different power source. Your traditional gas and electric refrigerator, the food can kind of warm up depending on where the sun is. And, you know, that's always a big time bummer. Now, one thing about the MPGs that's going to be different from what I would call its sister brand, the Radiance. So the Radiance is going to be a little bit heavier a little bit taller up in the ceiling, but they're also going to be a little bit more money. MPG cuts down on the weight, cuts down on the cost by having things like this countertop. If you do not need a solid surface countertop, you know, like that, um, you know, kind of like that stone material. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. This is a plastic, kind of a hard vinyl wrap plastic, really durable, really sturdy, but it's lighter and less expensive. Great feature to have to save you a ton of money and a ton of weight. This camper comes in at below 5,800 pounds dry. So most of your, you know, your 150s, your 1500s, even some of your Suburbans can tow this thing. Absolutely no problem. Cutting board for the top, which is always a big time plus. Just a little versatile for extra space, obviously for cutting stuff. Single stainless steel undermounted bowl with a high rise residential faucet. So I like seeing that too. Just a nice little added touch with the stainless steel. You're also gonna see a good amount of countertop space, a window, pretty cool backsplash too, just looking really sharp. And then underneath the sink, you're gonna see you get a ton of storage, a little place for a sponge brush, three drawers, top two are gonna be looking just like this. And then the bottom is looking just like that. So much deeper, a little bit more extra stuff. In my family, that would definitely become a drunk drawer. No problem, very fast. Metal latches, that's gonna be new for 24. I think that looks really sharp. Clean cut storage. You're also going to see overhead storage here as well. And I like how they put in kind of that, that glossed over look to it. I think it just looks really sharp. So you can see it's kind of that glossed over like you know, glass. 
pretty deep overhead storage. Those are those double wide bunk beds, by the way. So even the plumpest of fourth, firstborns can get in there. It's got a max load capacity of 300 pounds. Three stovetop burner. And then this is pretty neat too. So, you know, they say it's an RV industry first and I believe them because I've never really seen it before except for these uh, the radiance and the MPG, but it's an air fryer. Those are getting pretty darn popular. You know, cook up some snacks. A little more versatility, never hurt anything. Fan, light, graystone microwave. And then you got more storage. Going to be the same, both top and bottom here. Now down here is going to be your fuse box. So if something isn't working, make sure to check that out. You are good to go. But like I was saying on the bunks, you get the top bunk is going to have max low capacity of 300 pounds. This is round belly approved. I could sleep in this absolutely no problem. And this is where that barrel roof comes into play. If it is just flat, you have an interior space of 6.5, like some of these brands out here, you're gonna be hurt and you're gonna be feeling a little bit stuffy. So I like the extra room. It's also gonna be a really comfortable, you know, kind of mattress there. Little net to hold up any belongings. And then underneath here, you get a ton of good storage. How nice is that? You can never get enough storage. Give you a little view here. It's a good looking travel trailer. Oh, forgot to turn on the lights. Let's flick those on. Pretty good sized bathroom as well. And I like how they got the old uh, foot flush throne right there. Plenty of room. Let's also show off that how light and bright and beautiful that flooring is. That is just nice in general. You got a sink, a little bit of countertop space, enough to put some, you know, maybe like a soap and some, uh, you know, toothpaste and toothbrushes and all that kind of good stuff. Access to your plumbing and some storage. Outlet that you can control from the solar too, so that is a big time plus. And then a little medicine cabinet. You got a mirror right there, show off the old bowling gun, baby. I cannot wait for bowling. I think I am about 10, 11 days away, but who's counting? Who is counting? I... Good size shower bigger than the corner radius shower at least you know I'm a, uh, I'm a bigger guy six foot roughly 300 pounds depending on you know if I've been behaving myself or not down to 294 today so that was freaking awesome good feeling there but I got enough room just to kind of move around it does get a little tight you know if you are my size but with that being said it's definitely serviceable and bigger than some you also get a sunlight and then right here a little fan uh, so you can help you know kind of circulate some of that air suck out the steam or the stink Bada bing, bada boom. Heading up into the front of the coach this is going to be your entertainment area. I love seeing that accent lighting. I just think it breaks things up really nicely. Creates a nice ambient glow at night as well. If you're coming out just to get a little night light, maybe not wake up the kids if you're getting a snack. But you also see door and door. Good size Sansui TV. My favorite brand to say Sansui. Doesn't get any more fun than that. Try to say that a couple times fast. You will start chuckling. You get the Furion soundbar with the HDMI, USB, and the auxiliary with zones 1 and 2. So you can play music both inside, outside, or both sides. Good storage here up underneath as well. And then now we're into the bedroom. You're going to see you have an emergency exit. So pull, push, and plop right there. You can get out in a hurry. Another window right there for a good view. But check out that storage. That's all up and around. And by the way... This is going to be a king bed with their patent pending king bed slide. So basically with that, there's a little latch that you can push and you can take it, unhinge it and push this bed all the way to that side or all the way to this side. So that way, if you have somebody that's maybe a little bit hard of walking or just needs a little bit extra space to kind of get in and out, you can move that all the way against the wall and just really make that area one big open space. So I love seeing that it just makes it more versatile, you know, for more situations. Pretty good area for some hanging room, and that's going to be the same on this side as it is on that side. Good storage there as well. And then underneath here, you get a little cubby with all the outlets that you need. So you get a little nightlight for some reading. You also see two USBs and two outlets. Hopefully the camera picked that up okay. A place where you could drop a second AC if you really wanted to, and a camper this size probably wouldn't recommend it, but the option is there and available. You know, if you camp somewhere super, super hot, 
but uh, predominantly a 15k AC will really really do some wonders for the size camper TV backer location so you can hang up a TV right here probably by the looks of it I'd say about a 42 to 46 inch maybe a 50 I'd have to kind of measure it but then you also get your outlets and the appropriate plugins there for your cable but all right guys hope you guys enjoyed the interior portion of this tour again this is the 2024 mpg 2500 bh if you don't mind hit that like and subscribe button for me help me hit my goals and uh, more importantly if you're in the market for an rv whether you are far or near at least give me a call let me provide you with my pricing i think you'll be pleasantly surprised you know when pricing and service kind of combine with each other usually some good things can happen and i've been selling you know personally over 200 campers a year for quite some time and I would love if uh, I'd love if you kind of join the squad. All right. So once again, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be found down in the description of this video, along with my contact information. But this is on the exterior. There's a lot to talk about on the MPG in general. Now I'll be sort of brief on this, but a lot of good stuff to kind of compare when you're shopping in the market because the MPG isn't quite as known as some of your other brands like hemisphere and things like that so first off it is lighter than most at 5700 pounds dry that's because it's going to be five-sided aluminum frame construction so the only part of this frame that is not aluminum is going to be the roof and that's because they use a wood truss which is perfectly fine it's what you want to see it keeps costs down but it's still a fully walkable roof, so you can check your seals and check your slides. But the five sides are going to be, you know, obviously all the way around the camper and the flooring. So very sturdy construction. It's also going to have better than most insulation as well with the extended season package. So that's going to be the normal insulation of an RV, but added insulation in the floor and the roof, along with forced ducted heat to underneath the camper. So what that is going to mean for you, you know, because benefits tell, oh, wait a second, what is it? Features tell, benefits sell. The, the feature is better construction. Man, I botched that. But uh, anyway, better construction, which means longer camper, early in the season, later in the season, you're good to go. This pass-through storage is massive. You can see it has the linoleum right here, which is a big time plus. It's all finished. And then you have your aluminum frame construction up top. Solar disconnect. And then there's another disconnect up on the front box, which I'll show you on the exterior. Tire length runs you about 300 bucks. And then you can put um, tire pressure monitoring system. And this is going to be your solar charge controller right there. So you can see what the sun is doing. Extend and retract for your power stabilizing jacks. You got another set there in the back. Massive awning. I'm going to guess around 20 feet. But again, that'll be down in the description. LED lights there running up underneath. You also have your step above steps that flip up into the doorway with a larger than usual grab handle. So that's that extended season RVing. You can see that's the enclosed underbelly, but it just kind of shows you that you can use this a little bit longer. Three year structural warranty as well. Hopefully you don't need it, but you do get a little extra backing uh, from Cruiser, which is really nice. Trailer King tires shining like justice, looking really good when they're nice and cleaned up. See that suspension system right there. And then right here is going to be your two exterior speakers, marine grades. So you don't have to worry about any water or anything like that getting in them. Cable hookup, two outlets, potable water, and a spray port for some exterior access to some water right next to the outside kitchen. And I love this outside kitchen. Not only do you get plenty of countertop space and storage space, but instead of going with a grill, they went with a griddle. Anything you can cook on a grill, you can cook on the griddle but I think they're way easier to clean up. You just scrape them and you're good to go. But right there, the Elite Series griddle, very much so like a Blackstone. And then you have your mini refrigerator here as well, which you can pack away about a 24 pack of apple juice. Absolutely no problem. This is gonna be the other power stabilizing jack. And then heading around the back, you're gonna notice you get a true bumper with a spare tire. So that's a big time plus, just in case something happens. It's in a really convenient, and kind of foolproof location it's not lodged underneath the camper where you don't know how to do it and you end up googling and finding out how to disconnect it no it's right there it's on the back bumper really nice and easy that black box right here that's for the rear observation camera it'll run you about 550 600 bucks depends on what you go with 
uh, but that's really nice. So you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. It also has a little built-in microphone, which is pretty nice. It's kind of the argument stopper. You know, you're yelling back and forth through the truck. No, you can talk back and forth through here. One-way audio, but at least you can hear, you know, when you're about to blast into that tree or that cement block. Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So it's a telescoping ladder, hooks right into those two open spaces. Uh, you get that right off their website, but that's what most of the market is going to be prepped for now. But again, it's a fully walkable roof, so you can get on top, check your seals, check your slides. Now, speaking about slides, if you're ever going to have a leak, it's going to come from the slide for the most part because you have that bonehead moment where you're parked under a tree and, you know, a branch or something falls on top. And then you pull the slide in and it punctures those seals. You know, these seals are triple layered. So you got three different layers. You have one, two, and then another one there. But a tree branch will get into that absolutely no problem. So you have two options. Hop on top of your fully walkable roof every time you're about to close it and make sure you brush off the top or you buy a slide topper, which depending on size will run you about seven to 800 bucks a pop. But it's a piece of awning that goes from here to here and essentially just stops anything from falling on. If it does, it falls on top of the awning. You roll it in, it rolls off the top. The same goes for water or for sun. So it'll protect the seals a little bit longer because of the sun damage. But also it helps regulate temperature, sort of like a dual pane window. You know, it kind of heats up in between there. The wind kind of whisks it out. Pretty nice and definitely something to think about. You got a dump valve right there, so that's nice and easy. Satellite cable, city water connection, black tank flush. It's gonna be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. You do have the 50 amp on this, it looks like. Yeah, they put the 50 amp on this one, so you can definitely drop a second AC if you would like. And then you got another spray port right there. Back end of that pass-through storage. And then we're back up to the top. So this right here is where I was talking about with that other battery disconnect. You can plug that. So one's for the solar, one's for the rest of the camper. LED lights running up the front. Power tongue jack. Two propane bottles and a battery. will be nice, filled up, and ready to go. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, this was the 2024 MPG 2500BH. My name is Hunter. Hope to see you next time. See ya.